Hello and welcome everyone to the Environment Primer series of Just AIS. My name is Pragya. In today's interesting episode of the Animal Project series, we are going to discuss about yet another significant and important animal project. The title of our today's discussion is Indian Crocodile Conservation Project. In this discussion, we are firstly going to study about the species known as crocodiles. Then we are also going to examine the crocodilian species in India. Then we are also going to understand the human crocodile conflict which has increased in the recent years. Then we are also going to examine the conservation efforts undertaken by the government of India to save and protect the crocodile species in India. And lastly, we are going to uh, discuss some of the important questions which are very important from the perspective of your prelims examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic, we celebrate the World Crocodile Day. World Crocodile Day. On June 17 every year. And this World Crocodile Day was founded in the year 2017. And it aims to increase the awareness about the plight and the uh, suffering of the species known as crocodiles and alligators. So, this brings us to the important point of our today's discussion that is the species of crocodiles. So, crocodiles are semi aquatic and live in wetland areas, freshwater rivers or lakes or salt water, residing in estuaries, lagoons, or mangrove swamps rather than far out at sea. So basically they are man, mainly carnivorous in nature but a recent study has concluded that they enjoy eating fruits as well and how are they important to the welfare of the ecosystem let us understand. So basically they play a very crucial role in shaping their habitats like wetlands and river banks through nesting and feeding behaviors. These modifications foster diverse ecosystems benefiting various species such as birds, fish and invertebrates. So, whatever the nest they are digging and that nest can be used by the other species in extreme environmental conditions like droughts and immediate threat if they are facing it. Okay. So, uh, these uh, feeding and nesting habits of crocodiles are very important for the ecosystem in which they survive. Moving forward. The feeding habits of crocodile contributes essential nutrients to the ecosystems as they consume substantial amounts of prey, enriching their excrement. Recognized as a keystone species, crocodiles have a significant impact on their environment, regulating prey populations and maintaining the ecological balance as apex predators. So, the cro crocodiles are very important for the ecosystems because we can find out the health of the ecosystems by analyzing their behavior. So, for example, if a crocodile is moving out of one ecosystem, we can correctly predict that yes, the health of the ecosystem is not good because the crocodiles uh, protect and conserve their ecosystem by various activities. So, they are also recognized as the keystone species. Moving forward, let us understand the crocodilian species in India. So, the very first species is Magar or Marsh Crocodile. As the name itself suggests, they are mainly found in the marshy areas. And they are the egg laying and nest making species. And they are endemic to India. That is, that means that they are found only in India. So, okay, it is mainly restricted to the Indian subcontinent where it may be found in a number of freshwater habitat types including rivers, lakes and marshes. That's why the name marsh crocodile. Okay. However, it can even be found in coastal saltwater lagoons and estuaries. It is already extinct in Bhutan and Myanmar. So basically they are, although they are endemic in India, they are already extinct in their range countries that is Bhutan and Myanmar due to the lack of conservation efforts. And if you ask me about their protection status, so IUCN red list of species, they are categorized as vulnerable. 
on the sites appendix 1 and in the wildlife protection act of india schedule 1 now moving forward to the another crocodile species that is being found in india so it is the estuarine or salt water crocodile it is also the largest living species of crocodile largest living species of crocodile on the earth if you talk about its habitat then it is found in odisha's bhitar kanika national park the sundarbans in west bengal and the andamans and nicobar islands it is also found across southeast asia and the northern australia and if you talk about its protection status so on the iucn red list of species it is categorized as least concern then on the sites appendix 1 except the populations of australia indonesia and papua new guinea which are included in appendix 2 then in the indian wildlife protection act of 1972 it is included in the schedule 1 now moving forward to the third and the most common species that is found in india and it is named as gharial so the gharials are mostly found in fresh waters of the himalayan rivers and they are named as gharials because they have this long and thin snouts which resembles a pot and that is why they are named as gharials the chambal river in the northern slopes of the vindhya mountains is known as the primary habitat of gharials other himalayan rivers like ghagra gandak river girwa river ram ganga river and the son river are secondary habitats for Ghadiyals. and if you talk about the protection status that is being granted to them then on the iucn red list of species they are critically endangered sites appendix one and the wildlife protect uh, protection act of india they are in the listed in the schedule one now moving forward let us talk about the human crocodile conflict because it is arising so see what are the threats that are being faced by the crocodile species so the first is threat that is being faced is the habitat loss second bad fishing practices and they are also killed for their eggs and other body parts for because they it is believed that they have some medicinal purposes to solve okay and the human crocodile conflict is increasing because the human activities are interfering with the ho habitats of the crocodiles so an encroachment of humans on the river banks and marshy areas with an increased urbanization is one of the foremost reasons for increasing human crocodile conflict in these areas and Vadodara in Gujarat, Kota in Rajasthan, Bhikar Kanika in Orisha and Andaman and Nicobar Islands are considered as the human crocodile conflict hotspots in India. And sadly, they are the habitats of main habitats of major crocodile species that is being found in India. Moving forward, let us discuss the conservation efforts that are being undertaken by the government of india to protect and conserve the species of crocodiles in india so crocodilians were threatened in india due to the indiscriminate commercial killing and several habitat loss since the enactment of the wildlife protection act of 1972 by the 1970s all three crocodile species that is gharial maga crocodile and saltwater crocodile in odisha's river systems were on the verge of extinction and that is why it was a sudden awakening call to the government of India to protect and conserve the all the three species of crocodiles that were found in India. Moving forward, the crocodile conservation project was finally established in various states in the year 1975. The Gharial and the Saltwater Crocodile Conservation Program was launched in Odisha in the early 1975 followed by the Magar conservation program and if you talk about the other conservation efforts also so we have this captive breeding program 
कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग प्रोग्राम विच इज बींग अंडरटेकन एट नंदन कानन इन ओडिशा तो दिस इज येट एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट कंजर्वेशन एफर्ट दैट इज दैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ क्रोकोडाइल्स दैट इज बींग अंडरटेकन इन नंदन कानन इन ओडिशा मूविंग फॉरवर्ड Aside from producing a large number of crocodiles in a short period of time, the crocodile project has made numerous contributions to the overall approach to wildlife conservation, research, and trainings. So, when we launched this program, we saw that yes, there was a lack of the skilled persons who are able to conserve and captive breed the species of crocodiles, and that is why we opened a special center in Hyderabad. to train the skillful persons for the conservation of the crocodile species and this project also involves the increase of awareness in the local community and the participation of the local communities in the protection and conservation of the crocodile species in india with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion we have discussed about the species of crocodiles we have also seen what are the three major kinds of species of crocodile that are found in india we have also discussed the human crocodile conflict we have also seen the conservation efforts now let us discuss the previous practice question which i asked you in my previous session so the question was consider the following statements so your statement number 1 was the one horned rhinoceros is the rhino species native to the indian subcontinent your statement number 2 was it is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN red list of species your uh, option 3 is it mainly breeds in the terai grasslands of northern india so which of these statements given above is are correct your options are option a is 1 2 and 3 option b is only 1 option c is 1 and 3 and option d is 2 and 3 so your correct answer is going to be option c 1 and 3 only statements are correct it is not critically endangered rather it is one rebel on the iucn red list of species moving forward to discussing the practice questions from our today's session so the question is which of the following uh, place is known for salt water crocodile your options are option a is gulf of mannar your option b is bhetar kanika your option c is chilka lake and your option d is Puleru Lake. So your correct answer is going to be option B, Bhetar Kanika. Moving forward to the next question. The question is: If you want to see gharials in their natural habitats, which one of the following is the best place to visit? And this question has been asked in the year 2017. That means it is a PYQ. So your options are: Option A is Bhetar Kanika mangroves. Your option B is Chambal River. Your option C is Pulikat Lake, and your option D is the Poor Beel. So your uh, uh, correct answer is going to be option B, Chambal River, because it is the natural habitats of gharials in India. Let us discuss the last question of our today's discussion. So the question is: Consider the following fauna of India, and it, this is also a PYQ that has been asked in the year 2013. So number one, gharial. Number two, leatherback turtle, and number three, swamp deer. Which of the following above is are endangered? Your options are option A is one and two only, option B is three only, option C is one, two, and three, and option D is none of the above. And this answer will be given by you to me in the comment box below. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, you can drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting updates. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.